Holy shiite, it finally happened. It finally happened. I've been waiting for this for, I don't know how long. It's gotta be quick about this. Where'd he go? There's a snake in my, all right, there's his tail. There is a snake in my house. There's his tail right there. I was actually coming in from a run, opened the door and I stepped on something. And I was like, what the hell was that? And then I looked down and it was dark and I saw it move. And it came, when I opened the door, it came inside. Where did he go? It's got to be tucked right in there. Snake in the house, snake in the house. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Ah, there's like a corn snake. I don't know if you can see them in there. Oh, focus. Focus. Underneath the broomstick there. Oop. Focus. There he is. Oh, my first snake. No, it's not my first snake. It's my first sizable snake that I found inside the house. Oh, I'm going to switch to GoPro mode. All right, we're switching to GoPro mode. Also, I finished all the Patreon product testers giveaway, all of them, done, done. So super happy. I'm gonna try to go fishing tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're gonna play snake catching. I'm sorry, buddy, I know you're scared. I think I found my other snake that I caught was a, uh, a little racer. They're black and then they have like a little red stomach or something. It's not my black mamba or king cobra that I like, but it's cool. We need more light. Well, hopefully I didn't hurt it. Yeah, there he is. Ah, beautiful corn snake. You're okay, buddy. I just want to make sure I didn't hurt you. Ah, you're a pretty good size one. Let me get some better GoPro footage. I'm not going to mess with you. Oh, come on, desk. He's scared. Uh, these are probably the most beautiful snakes we've got around here. There he is. to come in my house and make you my pet. Man, you take all those curls out, he's pretty big. All right, buddy, what are we gonna do with you? I guess I can take you over to the mangroves. Too many cats around here, you can get eaten. All right, let's, uh, let's get a bucket. I do have aquarium, I keep ya, but I prefer animals to live free. See his little head there. You're okay, buddy. Oh, he's coming out maybe. Yeah, he's gonna come out. Yeah, I don't think he's hurt, just scared. It's not cold, today is, uh, in the high 70s but I think it's supposed to cool off so maybe that's why he's over here see this is why I'm always hoarding buckets you always got to have a snake bucket so, all right so I'm just gonna put you there 
and then I'm just gonna scoot him over that way. Are there any holes to get out of? No, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, I can't see ya, but I'm gonna scoot ya. Scoot ya. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. You have to go over the top. Lights. All right, I got lights, got the bucket. Oh, 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 don't drop the... Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. He's a pretty big one, I'm surprised. Don't go that way. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, he's pretty sizable. He's not, he's going in the bucket, isn't he? No, I knew it. Don't be sneaky. <laughs> Get into the bucket. There's a spider too. Deadly spider. Come on, come on. No, you're not gonna go. You're not gonna go inside the house. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is my training for uh, Black Mamba training. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, I need a square bucket. All right, we're gonna have to fill that hole. There he goes, there he is, there he is. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, he wants to go in there. He wants to go deeper. Just get in the bucket. Just get in the bucket. 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 Get it. Oh no! He's gonna get away. And I got bees coming at me, spiders, snakes. Alright, did he go free? I still like to capture. Oh, there he is over there. Oh, he's going to make a run for it. Uh, there you go, buddy. Look how big he is. Wow, he's like a good two plus footer. Uh, I'm not going to scare you. Oh, grab him. Snake wrangling. I mean, I've got rats around here, but my rats would kill this snake. He definitely ain't got size enough for the rats that I got. My rats eat through concrete to get around. Oh, he's underneath there. All right. I'm not sure if I should capture or just let him go. Oh, where did he go? Did he get in the wheels? He disappeared. Can't see him. I think he's gone somewhere. All right, I found him. It's like, how did he disappear? I was looking, but he's hiding in the wheels. Just scared. Oh, there he is. You can see his markings up close. Beautiful snakies. Where's your head at? You're hiding. Hmm, what to do?
Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I'm touching ya. I'm touching ya. Touching ya. Touching ya. Touching ya. Moving. How is he going deeper in there? Can't see his head. Oh, he's all wound up inside there. Oh, there's his head. I see you, buddy. You see me? There he is. Come on, come on. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. You get squished. There he comes. Come on. Buddy, Mr. Corny, Mr. Corny, touch your tail. I got your tail. I got your tail. Got your tail. Oh, didn't like that. Don't bite me. Got your tail. Oh, got your tail. Going somewhere. Oh, there he goes. Get into my bucket. Oh, I don't like that. Gotcha. This is like lobstering. Lobstering, but with snakes. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Go in there. Come in there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's my lid. My lid. Do, 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 do. He's like, no, it's a trap. It's a trap. No, it's a trap. It's a trap. Gotcha. Yay. Snake catcher 5,000. <laughs> All right. What are we going to do with you now? He's in there. Just don't want him to jump out. Oh, is he climbing? No, he's not climbing. Alright. We have been captured. Alright, let's go take him somewhere. We'll probably take him by the mangroves. Alright, I'm just going to take him over here by the airport uh, backside. There's some uh, mangrove sanctuaries back here. Although there's probably a lot of cats out here as well, but there's some good marshy areas. All right, we're over here by the boat ramp, by the airport. I'm gonna go take them and by the fence over there, cause that's all just mangroves. And then the airport on the other side, just nowhere to park. I'm gonna take them over here. Let this guy go. Buddy, there you go. Yep, go that way. 
That way is safe. This way is the road. And that way, go through. Go. goes. No, don't come back up this way. No, 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 no. There he goes. It's like a rainforest in there. All right, buddy. Have a good life. All right, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I've actually been wanting to, for that to happen for the longest time, uh, finding a snake in here. I generally leave my doors open whenever it's nice so majority of the time i get a nice cross breeze here i've got those kind of mosquito coverings but snakes would be able to get right in uh i just got really lucky i stepped on it coming in because it was just dark and i just stepped on something and right right away i knew well it was either a garden hose came into my house or it was a snake but i i felt snake right away because it was kind of gushy and I looked down, and I just barely just saw a little profile move. And I was like, holy crap. So I didn't want to come back in because of the uh, mosquito netting would probably hit it and make it run inside somewhere. And once it got in here because of my warehouse style living conditions, I don't know if I'd ever find it again. So that's why I went all the way around the back and then came back in this way and tried to see if I could find it. But really cool. I mean... I was inches away. I would have never even known it was in here until it climbed into bed with me one day or for some reason or maybe when it shed its skin and I found it. But uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool there. Uh, that's actually this guy here, corn snake. Um, I actually just saw like about a three footer over at the Island Fish Company restaurant. I, I walked down that way to the boat ramp. And just in the little sign rain gutters there, I've seen one that was really big for a snake down here. Um, the other one that I had found, and it was just a little baby, it was probably like six or eight inches, was this guy. And that's just a ring neck. It's a black snake. It's got a little ring neck, and then its body uh, underbelly is red. So another beautiful snake. Would like to have kept them both, but, you know, I've got rats, and my rats... My rats are vicious. They'd eat that guy. The three-footer might have a chance, but uh, if I brought in like a mamba or a cobra to live with me, then then those guys might stop trying to break in here. I still need to do a video about all my rat proofing I've had to do to keep those guys out. I've done the uh, my uh, Rat Catcher 5000 box already, a video about that. But uh, yeah, those guys are more vicious than these guys. But very interesting. Uh, hopefully I see more of those guys around. Really cool little snakes. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Hopefully fishing someday. Bye.